Get a little more time to talk with the experts here about uh, patch 421 and the Fischio, you were mentioning the, the way that the flow of the game has been altered once again in 421. Yeah, so obviously Dragon buffs swapped around the second buff and the fourth buff, buff is now swapped. So you get the 15% tower damage as the second buff, which obviously helps promote snowballing. If you get that second Dragon early on, you can start sieging down these towers and take them down easy. They also give 25 extra gold per member if you take down a tower here. So some extra options if you do get an early lead to actually take these towers, get the gold lead, because we have seen slower games. And we've seen it's been very hard for teams to actually get a gold lead, simply because Dragon no longer gives you that gold and you could just trade towers for it. And therefore you would never really get the edge and therefore made it very hard as well to actually finish. I think especially on this patch and, and similar on 420 as well is what I want to look forward is to the support uh, and jungler synergy. We saw how effective Cloud9 was when they played against the Lions, when they basically had Lemonation and Medias constantly group up together, contest Raptor camps and basically deny vision, get deep vision in together. I think roaming as a support is even more important in the new map uh, these days to get a Widget jungle, getting that deep vision and then denying him from smiting his Raptor and actually clearing that out. I'm really looking forward if some of these challenger teams and expansion teams have worked up to that level yet of synergy and if they can bring that to the table today. I definitely remember Libic back in LCS that he uh, dared to roam once in a while. I, I don't know if he will do that on this stage immediately right now, but um, that could definitely be something that they take advantage of. But well, you were mentioning the snow snowballing factor. We've seen in the Giants games of before in the expansion tournament, a lot of times they would get an early lead and then they wouldn't exactly know how to push it immediately. Do you think it is uh, possible for a challenger team to just take that patch and study it throughout and know, okay, now we know exactly what we have to do to push our advantage or does that in reality not really match up? I don't think anyone knows exactly what to do right now to snowball it. I mean, teams are still figuring out all the new things, new champions being picked up. I mean, we constantly see new picks coming in. I do think just looking at the patch notes, if you want to play with a mid laner who loves to play like Xerath, you can build a siege comp around that. And again, as long as you can control the first and second dragon, you have a huge lead around 20 minutes. You have the power spikes, you get Morello and Omicron on your mid laner, which of course we see in so many players right now. Even though Athens has been buffed and gives more mana region, people still go for Morello and Omicron. It's cheaper, gives more AP and gives this very early power spike here. Use it, get a corky pick as well, and suddenly the game is over in 30 minutes, I'm going to say. Well, I, I think in terms of snowballing and closing out a game, I think the mechanics are still the exact same thing. You know, you got to get those towers down, then you got to break open it. If, if the enemy team has better wave clear than you have push, then you need to start looking at side lane pushes, split pushing, and those those mechanics, they work the exact same way. Yeah, so maybe some troll support might pick his banner of command, start split pushing <laughs> with Soraka and healing that, uh, that buff Is creep. he called Crepo? <laughs> no, that's a uh, that's that's going to be my uh, tactic going back at the LCS near you. I mean, Soon. so as you, as you just mentioned here, lane management or wave management yeah. is so important now, especially if you get a Baron buff, because you want to have these waves pushing into the into the enemy base, and then you can just rotate between the lanes and you buff up all these minions here, and it's almost impossible for the enemy team to come in and clear them fast enough because they get so much HP, and as long as you can move faster, as long as you have the vision control, you will get the towers, you will open up the base. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. Actually, I take back my spa statement of saying earlier it's exactly <laughs> the same as it was before. No, the Baron buff minions are actually making it, it even more valuable for teams if they're ahead to just add this one split push component to their to their push at least. You know, get somebody, maybe make it a 1-4, one, one guy in the top lane, four in the bottom. Spread them out even more, 1-3-1, one, one, you know, two soul laners or a soul laner in a jungle, one in each lane, and then have three people knocking at the middle lane door. Those creeps being buffed, those annoying siege creeps that won't even run into tower yep. range and slowly whittle away at your tower. If they can do that, yeah, that's the way you have to close out these games. And also remember that the Baron buff is a little shorter now uh, on this patch, but I do think the players are ready, so let's go back over to our casters.